Hi, I'm Manon Guijao, and my pronouns are she, her, and I'm one of the inaugural digital content creators for Pure Health Exchange's virtual work. Hi everyone, my name is Wally Mwansa and I use she, her, hers pronouns. I'm part of our University of Illinois at Chicago chapter and also one of the inaugural digital content creators for Peer Health Exchange's virtual work. So this is actually only my second semester in Peer Health Exchange. I learned about it at my campus involvement fair and their mission statement really clicked. My own high school had a school-based health center um, and I got involved with this organization called EverThrive that also advocates for health equity. So when I learned about PHE and that I would be actually facilitating that health information, um, I kind of just got hooked and dove in head first. So I actually, I actually joined Peer Health Exchange because I wanted to work with an incredible organization who is doing the same work that I've always wanted to do. Um, and there, I wanted to work with amazing individuals who have the same ideas that I do. And I'm really happy to be here and to work with Peer Health Exchange. So my personal health education was extremely, extremely minimal. I went to a public school and we really didn't learn much. We learned the basics about STDs, the male anatomy, the female anatomy, um, basic stuff about birth. And it's really disappointing to say that I've learned so much more about sex and mental health on TikTok and Twitter. Um. The creation process has been really, really fun. I generally didn't consider myself a creative person because I don't paint or sing. I cannot sing at all, um, but it's been really fun to find my like digital creativity um in the trainings it was really fun to learn about like the different points of views like for the camera and to learn about the impact that script has um and we have really amazing um we have really amazing like facilitators and coaches who guide us in our direction um they tell us to use our own concrete stories based on the topics organize our points and shots and then when it comes to just being on camera just to be authentic so they really help like release any nerves that i had And if there was one thing that I could tell my ninth grade self, I think it would be that you don't have to be palatable. Um, being the only like black kid, let alone like black woman in a space, cause I went to predominantly white middle school, predominantly white high school. I felt like I had to, you know, like conceal or suppress like parts of myself just to make friends. And at the same time, I would compare myself to everyone around me to the point where I lost a lot of who I was just trying to be likable to other people. Um, and it took a lot of work to get that back. So I would tell myself, why worry about people's opinion if you wouldn't necessarily take their advice? Like if you, like you will find your people and your people will love you. And I really don't know what the future holds for me, but I do know is that I really am excited to work with Pure Health Exchange and to create more videos with them and to create more content and to change the world in little and large ways. And I'm really happy to be here. Thank you guys so much for having me and thank you guys for having me along on this journey. Moving forward, I'm most excited to keep creating content. I definitely think this is the age of TikTok. I know I am on the app way too much. Um, and I know I learn a lot because it is such a powerful communication tool. And I think it's really perfect for Peer Health Exchange's target age range so that even if a school doesn't have PHE educators, um, all students still have those resources at their fingertips. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for attending. Thank you for allowing me to be here tonight. Um, thank you for contributing to this amazing organization that I am so glad to be a part of and I hope to continue with.